The stunning home is a treasure forever, particularly if it's a beautiful multi-million dollar worth. Some expensive homes across the world are quite impressive not only by their appearances, but also because of the luxurious amenities, interiors, and the location of the house. Here is the list of the most expensive houses in the world and everyone's dream place to reside in. Number 10. 18 to 19 Kensington Palace Gardens in London. Estimated value of $222 million. Owned by Indian steel tycoon Lakshmi Middle. The 55,000-square-foot 19th-century mansion was originally built as two semi-detached homes. More recently, the houses have moved into private hands after numbers 18 and 19 served for many years as the Egyptian and Russian embassies. Property developer David Kalili bought and united the two properties in the 1990s, spending £20 million to merge the two into one palatial home. He also added a swimming pool and floors and pillars in marble from the same quarry as the stone used to build the Taj Mahal. In 2001, Formula One boss, Bernie Ecclestone, bought the house for £50 million. However, his then-wife, Slavica, allegedly disliked the building and refused to stay there. Indian steel tycoon Lakshmi Middle stepped up and bought the 55,000-square-feet mansion for just over £57 million, a far lower offer than Ecclestone's original asking price of £85 million. The property became known as the Taj Middle and is thought to have trebled in value since its purchase. Number 9. 220 Central Park, South Penthouse in New York. Estimated value of $238 million. Hedge fund billionaire Ken Griffin made history when he purchased the 24,000-square-foot penthouses. In this Robert Arthur Stern designed skyscraper overlooking New York Central Park for $238 million, making it the most expensive home sold in the U.S. The 79-story tower is distinctive due to its color. The building is sheathed Alabama, silver shadow limestone. It's also known for its luxurious amenities, which include a spa, an athletic club, private dining, and entertainment facilities, and a private motor court. Building amenities also include an 82-foot saltwater pool, a fitness center, a squash court, a library, a screening room, and outdoor terraces. In addition to Griffin, the New York Post reports that other confirmed buyers include Albert Beller, chairman and chief executive of real estate investment trust Paramount Group who bought a 35th floor unit for $33.5 million, and Brazilian billionaire Renata de Camargo Nascimento, who paid $30.19 million for an apartment on the 33rd floor. Number 8. 4 Fairfield Pond, Sagapanak in New York. Estimated value of $248 million. Ira Renner's giant limestone Italian Renaissance-style home sits on 63 acres of beachfront property in the Hamptons. The 62,000-square-foot mansion has 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, and an expensive 91-foot dining room. The property is also home to all kinds of luxury leisure spaces, such as a basketball court, a bowling alley, squash courts, tennis courts, three swimming pools, and a garage that can hold up to 100 cars. Number 7. Mesa Vista Ranch in Eastern Texas Panhandle. The estimated value of $250 million. Mesa Vista Ranch contains 64,809 acres of land. The property is located in Roberts County in the eastern Texas Panhandle. State Highway 70 splits the ranch into the West Division, which contains approximately 48,000 acres, and the East Division, containing over 16,000 acres. The ranch is located about 30 miles north of Pampa, Texas, and approximately 85 miles northeast of Amarillo. No other ranch can replicate T. Boone Pickens Mesa Vista Ranch. He spent nearly 50 years transforming this Texas Panhandle ranch into a wildlife paradise, with spectacular water features and improvements fit for a king. Mesa Vista's unique combination of a pristine prairie-like environment and world-class amenities provide an unparalleled forum site for some of the nation's most influential political and business leaders to share their insights on matters critical to our times national security, economic policy, political involvement, philanthropic investment, and energy issues. Number 6. The Odeon Tower Penthouse, in Monaco. Estimated value of $387 million. With an estimated price tag that surely only a billionaire would entertain purchasing. The uber-exclusive Tour Odeon Tower Sky Penthouse, in Monaco, is set to potentially become one of the most expensive luxury homes in the world. Sitting atop the second tallest building on Europe's Mediterranean coastline, the 35,500 square feet. Five-story penthouse could become one of the world's most expensive properties per square meter. This price tag is beyond even the most expensive homes in the world, including in Canada. 
taking luxury living to dazzling new heights, the Turaudian Sky Penthouse is a grand vision of extravagant opulence, built to dominate the top tier of exclusive luxury residences around the world. Rising majestically above the azure waters of the Mediterranean, the resplendent penthouse embraces unprecedented 360-degree views over the sea, with a stunning outdoor rooftop circular infinity pool, linked to a balcony by a waterslide, making it the epitome of a luxury lifestyle beyond imagination. Number 5. Le Palace Bowls, in France. Designed by Hungarian architect Antti Lavag and built between 1975 to 1989, the Bubble Palace features a series of round rooms that spill down a rocky cliff overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. While Lavag was reportedly inspired by man's earliest dwellings in caves, the seaside estate not short on modern comforts, featuring three swimming pools, several gardens, and a 500-seat amphitheater on the hillside grounds. Bubble Palace is currently owned by Italian-born French fashion designer Pierre Cardin as a holiday home and has been the setting for many a swanky event. In 2015, Dior showed its cruise collection at an indoor-outdoor fashion show at the sprawling estate. Its feminine curves carry over into the décor, with bespoke furniture designed by contemporary artists to blend harmoniously with the spaces in the many suites. This futuristic modern-day maze is a dream residence, with its large rounded openings bathed in sunlight, reflecting sea and sailboats. Number 4. Villa Les Setters, in France. Estimated value of $410 million. Built in 1830, then purchased in 1904 by Belgium's King Leopold II. This mansion was considered to be the most expensive house in the world, on the market when it went up for sale in 2017, for $410 million by David Campari Milano. And of the Campari Group, the property's current owner. Set on 35 acres of manicured gardens and named for the cedar trees on the grounds, the 18,000-square-foot 14-bedroom estate boasts an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a large stable, and decadent interiors, think enormous crystal chandeliers, intricate gilded woodwork, and 19th-century oil paintings, fit for the opulence of the home's Bella Pocade. Number 3. Villa La Leopolda, in France. The estimated value of $750 million. This French Riviera estate takes its name from King Leopold II of Belgium, who acquired the property in the late 1890s. Since then it has had a number of owners, served as a military hospital during the First World War, and appeared in the classic ballet film The Red Shoes, and supposedly in Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief. Today it is owned by Lily Safra, a philanthropist and the widow of the billionaire banker Edmund Safra. The 29,000-square-foot main house reportedly has 11 bedrooms and 14 baths. There are also two guest houses, a pool, and some 20 acres of trees and gardens said to keep 50 gardeners busy full-time. Its recent value has been estimated at $750 million. Number 2. The Antilia Tower, in Mumbai. The estimated value of $1 to $2 billion. Probably the world's priciest private residence, often valued at $1 billion, Antilia is a 400,000-square-foot 27-story mansion completed in 2010. In fact, calling it 27 stories hardly does it justice. At 570 feet in height, it is the equivalent of a 50 to a 60-story building, with an offbeat shape that defies easy description. The New York Times characterized it as, a Blade Runner meets, Babylon edifice. The towering mansion, apparently named after a mythical island in the Atlantic Ocean, is owned by Mukesh Ambani, chairman of Reliance Industries, and reportedly the richest person in India. According to The Guardian, its amenities include three helipads, a 50-seat movie theater, and six floors of parking space that can accommodate 168 cars. To maintain all that, Ambani employs a staff, reported to a number of 600. Number 1. The Buckingham Palace in London. The estimated value of $2.9 billion. Although it's unlikely to come on the market anytime soon, the palatial residence of Great Britain's Queen Elizabeth II is generally agreed to be the world's most valuable residence, estimated by Money Magazine, among others, to be worth some $1.55 billion. Part of that price tag may be due to the palace's royal provenance and part to its location in London, a city whose land is among the world's most expensive. But the building isn't too shabby, either. Buckingham Palace has 775 rooms, including 52 bedrooms for the royals and their guests, 188 bedrooms for staff, 78 bathrooms, and 92 offices. That's in addition to 19 staterooms among them a state dining room, a music room and, an obvious necessity for any sitting monarch, a throne room. The ballroom is a more recent addition, built by Queen Victoria in time to celebrate the end of the Crimean War in 1856. 
the palace's gardens cover some 40 acres. The queen doesn't actually own the palace, it's held in trust. Not to worry, though her majesty is unlikely ever to be homeless. She owns a couple of other royal retreats, including the stately Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Incidentally, the closest thing the United States has to a Buckingham Palace, the White House, is valued by the real estate website Zillow at $425 million. A fair rental price, it says, would be about $2 million a month. Then again, it is a lot smaller, with a mere 132 rooms. Alright guys, this is all we got for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the like button, and subscribe to our channel. Until then stay safe, stay at home. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.